it's author Sandra Wilson live from the Kindness Kangaroo Library and we have another story type session uh, for our Friday feature which is the book High in the Sky by Kathleen Gower. So every Friday we go live in the Kindness Kangaroo Library and share a story with you because reading to kids is very important and uh, sharing stories is also very important so I want to make sure that we do a lot of that. I like to connect with local authors um, and share their stories because it's also important to support local. Uh, so as uh, usual at the end of our story I do have an activity to show you that you can then do at home uh, and extend the life of the story. I try to find activities that don't require too many materials so it might be stuff that you already have at home um, and some of them could be adapted if there was something that you're missing as well. All right, so I'm very excited to share the story High in the Sky. Uh, we've shared stories uh, by Kathleen Cower before. Um, they're such cute little stories and great illustrations. And um, I, in the uh, listing um, for our story time session is her website for Skipping Stone Press, uh, where you can uh, get your own copies of these books. All right, let's begin. Here we go. Make sure that you can see it. Whenever I feel my world's too small and I'm ready to explode, I just hop on top of my tire swing to zap this overload. All of a sudden, I'm in control. The harder I pump, the higher I soar. I bend my knees and off I go to places I've never been before. Up one, two, and three, four, five, then it's time to take a dive. Down six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, it's time to climb again. Each push, I'm somewhere different. <clears throat> Whatever pops into my head, I travel wherever, whenever I want, and leave the real world behind. <clears throat> Whoosh, I'm a daring astronaut, blasting off into space. Outside my gigantic rocket ship, <clears throat> Comets and meteors race. Wee! Down like a roller coaster, those tickles in my tummy. Then rushing up once more I go. The feeling is so yummy. An Olympic figure skater? Sure! I leap, then twirl and spin. Whiz, dip, dizzy, zip, hooray! A gold medal win! Next push, I'm a giant eagle gliding above the crowds. Up, up, up! And away I fly, sliding between the clouds. And sometimes I'm a surfer, riding a rolling wave. Water splashing, roaring, crashing, feeling strong and brave. There's just no end to what I can be, or where in the world I can go. Far off jungles in Africa, or mountains in Mexico. When neighbors hear me squeal, whoopee, they always stop and stare. Then they smile because they see that I don't seem to care. I left my troubles far behind and boarded on this flight that swirls me up and into the sky, swooping like a kite. Up and down with my frown turned around, swaying to and fro. I'm a kid up high, happy as pie, with so many places to go. Tumble, wobble, bumble, thump, I'm feeling light in my head. But I'll pump and bump till I'm all out of spunk, then I'll plunk myself into bed. Soon cozy thoughts of floating clouds will whirl inside my brain. Up one, two, and three, four, five, I'm high in the sky again. The end. Now wasn't that some fun? Lots of imagination for that person in this book. And at the end of the book, there are some activities that you can do with your family um, and have some fun um, with your imagination and learning um, uh, some extended learning for the story as well. Uh, so uh, again, that's uh, Kathleen Gower, High in the Sky. I just love the whole tire swing. I have a tire swing in my Quite a Character uh, logo and I have a tire swing bird feeder outside in my backyard. I think tire swings are great fun. So I think that was a really good story and what an imagination that child had. All right, so for today's activity, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. This one's a cardstock, a little bit thicker because of what we're gonna use it for. You need a piece of string or yarn. 
Now I call these Brad's paper fasteners, whatever you call them, um, butterfly clips. They are the ones that uh, open up um, at the bottom so that they can be um, split apart. See? Can you see that? Split apart. Sorry, it's really hard to see it. Okay. Uh, and uh, some markers. I have a green one and a brown one because well, I'm going to draw. And then you also, I cut this little piece of roll from a toilet roll. So we always have empty toilet rolls and I like to save them because they can make some great craft ideas. So I just cut off the end of one of those toilet rolls. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our blank piece of paper. And all you have to do on it is draw yourself a tree. Now, don't worry if you think, oh, I can't draw because our trees are fairly simple, just a few lines. And it because it's your creativity, it's just perfect. We don't need to be perfect drawers. We don't have to be great artists. We just have to enjoy what we're doing and, uh, and just try. All right, so you just have to draw a tree so there, and you need to have a great big long branch. So we make this big long branch and we'll make a couple other branches. And then our trunk branch, oh, it's a really skinny tree. <laughs> we can make that a little longer because then we can add some lines to make the wood. Maybe add a circle for a knot in the tree or maybe somewhere where an owl lives. All right, so we just draw a tree. Now I've used a green one as well, which was so much fun because with the green, with the green marker, I just took it and went and made leaves all over the tree. So that was so much fun. All right, so draw your tree, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, piece of toilet roll and your yarn, and you're going to tie your string onto the toilet roll. Then you're going to take at the, near the end of your tree and you may need a little bit of help with this because it is poking through and we don't want you to poke your fingers. So maybe get somebody bigger to help. So you're going to take that brad and you're going to stick it through the hole in the tree and then twist it at the back. And then you take the other end of the string and you wrap that around the brad. So then what you end up with, and I have it all completed to show you, is this picture with a tire swing. Now you see I colored my toilet roll black just to make it look like a tire swing and because it's hanging when we shake our picture our tire swing will swing and we can think hmm while she's swinging while I'm swinging in this tire swing what can I imagine so are you going up into space are you swimming underwater are you surfing like the character did in the book so it just because we've got you see how we've got the paper thing on the back with the folded so it makes something that you can wrap your string around and then it makes it so that your swing actually will swing. All right, I hope you enjoyed our story time session today, our High in the Sky story by Kathleen Gower, as well as our activity of the tire swing. I hope you enjoy your weekend, and I hope you imagine some wonderful things. All right, everybody, I'll see you next week.